What's up, YouTube? I'm Super Dana Shoe Man back with another video today. And before we go any further, get into any shoe talk, we need a word from our sponsor, Peyton. Who is our sponsor? Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Peyton. Matthew 27, verse 46. Jesus was hanging from the cross. He looks up to God and to the heavens and he says, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Hebrews 13, 5 says that God will never leave us or forsake us. And that is why he'll never leave us or forsake us because Jesus was perfect and deserved no forsaking. And the forsaking he was taking was all for us. And as long as we just accept it, that's what he was doing when he was there and believed that that, that is what happened. And we don't need to be forsaken. There's no reason for us to be forsaken. So thank you, Jesus, for sponsoring us and for sponsoring this video. I've had this shoe sitting here, back here, for several weeks. Um, didn't go for it on release day. Didn't go for it on sneakers. Didn't go for any of the raffles. And I was like, do I get this? Do I not get this? And this is my third colorway of this silhouette. Um, of the three colorways, one of them I've never worn. It's still over there. I made a video on it a long time ago. It's in the shelf. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it or when. Uh, the other bird, the other colorway that I have, uh, which is, y'all already know. Actually, you don't know because I've been keeping my, uh, my titles and my thumbnails kind of mysterious for you. But this is the other colorway that I have. I'm pretty sure this was called UNC, even though there's only a tiny little bit of blue on the Jumpman here on the side and on the back. Um, it is very reminiscent, though, of the OG colorway that instead of blue had red, and that's part of the reason why I liked it to begin with. Part of the reason why I didn't like it was because of this material, and can you see how it's shining from there? The black? Maybe. It's kind of like asphalt looking, like there's it's some crystals in it that, that sparkle. Um, and I went to the store on release day, this is like 2020 or so, and I wasn't quite really back into to shoes again, to, to Jordans, and I knew Jordan eyes weren't my favorite, um, although this was one of the first Jordans I ever noticed, like on foot, when I was in like fifth grade, I think, when those came out, maybe even fourth. I don't know. It's one of the first, like, notable silhouettes that I recognized. That's a Jordan. Actually, the first. And uh, that, that's the similar colorway, so I knew I wanted them. But I wasn't 100% positive I wanted to spend the money on them. So, and, and the market was just turning back up in 2020. Maybe it was even 2019. I don't remember exactly. And I decided not to get them. I tried them on in the store at Foot Locker. We walked through the rest of the store, came back, and they were gone. And I realized at that point, I made a motto for myself. You remember what that, that motto is? If I see it, I like nope. No, I don't know. Buy first. Ask questions later. <laughs> when it comes to Jordans, especially on sneakers, if you order something on sneakers, if you have the opportunity to, if it, or not, you can cancel it within an hour and you can return it after you get it for free. So you, there's no risk in doing that. And at stores, you can also return them as long as you don't wear them. So I really should have just purchased it and then brought it back if I didn't want. So uh, I definitely used that motto almost all the time after that and almost never regretted not getting them. Luckily though, Miguel gave me those. I really appreciate him. He found those at a resale shop. They were used and not very expensive. And I'll just draw. Okay. And got them for me. The other pair that I have is like black and taxi, I think was the colorway, or black and some kind of gold. Uh, and like I said, I've never worn those. I saw these, okay, they, they were releasing. I was like, I do want another pair of Jordan 9s, and this might be it. And uh, but I didn't really think so, so I didn't go for them anywhere. But then we actually went to Forget where we were going. We were going from lunch on Saturday uh, afternoon to get some fish food at a farmer's market because they have, and it's it's quite a drive, and they just have the best price on frozen small fishies to feed to the other to the big fish. And we went to Goodwill. Esper needed to go to Good, wanted to go to Goodwill, and I was like, well, there's this one on the way, so we're gonna go there. Just happened. I didn't even realize this. Just happened to have a hibbit right beside it. So she walked in there. So Atticus and I went into hibbit, and these were still sitting on the front counter. I thought they were telling me that at most Hibbits with big releases, you can't get them until a certain time of day, like five o'clock maybe, or maybe even Hibbits the next day. I can't even remember now. It's been so long since I've cared too much about trying to get in-store releases on release day because the market's so far down. It's just easy, easier to get them on sneakers or a shock drop or something like that, like I've got with a lot of the pairs that I've gotten recently, like the Military Blue Fours. Um, so they were sitting there and 
I thought he wasn't going to sell them to me. And then he was like, yeah, you can have them. I was like, oh, all right. And I, I, seeing them in person for the first time there, I didn't look at them too closely, but I was like, I do really like these. I watched a couple videos on them. This is a got them late video. Who knows when you're even going to see this when I'm actually going to publish it. Hesper really likes these though. Like for me, I don't think she likes them for her and she doesn't have a pair, but she really likes them and bought me clothes already to match these. And she got me a pair of pants knowing that like a dark, uh, they're, I think they're black. I really think there might be blue. She says they're black. Uh, like, what do they call pants? The ones I wore today? You didn't see them. Yeah, you did. I took you to school. The, the, the brown ones I wore today, they're joggers. Is that what they, yeah, joggers. Yeah. Um, but the black pair, and she's bought me two shirts now to go with these, and I haven't worn either of them. So it's high time. That's why I wanted to go ahead and make this video. Whether or not I publish this video, um, I've made it so that I can now get my reaction. Mm. I've seen these in one other place. What? It's got all three things. Three things? No. Oh, Air Jordan and a jump in. Yeah. Um, so that I can I can get the video made and I can I can actually start wearing them. I think I'm gonna wear them. I'm not 100 percent sure yet, but I think I am. And this is the Air Jordan 9 Retro Summit White and Black. Um, this is another UNC colorway. It doesn't mention this blue anywhere. I hope this gets yeah, this is the right one. So here it is. Ooh. You like them that much? No, they're just pretty. The no, they're just pretty. No, I like the blue. The blue. Okay. It's actually kind of similar to the uh, to the military blue, lighter, but not too much lighter. But we don't know what this color of blue is supposed to be called because Summit White and Black is the only colorway, uh, the only colors on the colorway. So I do like this because all of this is leather. It doesn't have any like kind of crazy materials like this. The leather is typical Jordan Nine leather as far I mean as far as leather goes, and it's not great. It's fairly plasticky. Um, it's not super broken already. It's not super soft. It's good. It's fine. Um, so I'm, I'm happy about that because it's as good as we normally would get on a Jordan 9. Um, what I do really like about it is the blue on the cut. Can you see the blue mm -hmm. on the sides? That is probably my favorite part of this whole shoe. That every cut side is blue. So you get these little hints of blue and you only see them at the right, uh, at the right angle. Uh, Jordan 9s have uh, like an inner booty. I kind of like the way these fit. They like There's like a sock to the sock liner that just fits really tightly on your foot, but not so tightly that it's like uncomfortable. Uh, and again, I just like this. I like the 9 silhouette. It's the first silhouette Jordan that I ever really realized. So I am pretty sure this is a, an original colorway. It's been a while since I, I researched much about these because they've been sitting over here for weeks now. Um, these were made up until September 2023. So when did they release? It was warm outside when we went to, what you call it that day? Mm -hmm. It was probably a month ago. Um, but I am pretty sure that these were OG and they were OG to not have the 23 on the back, which I, I prefer that they're OG, but I like the 23 on the back. Can you see the 23 here? Mm. Kind of. Mm. I see it too. I like that. I think that the the bread colorway, I guess, is what it's called, or the Chicago colorway does have the 23, uh, but these just didn't. So Look at the bottom of the shoe. Huh? Look at the bottom of the shoe. Yes, I do like the bottoms. While I don't know that these are great for uh, actually playing basketball, they're just cool. Yeah. It, you make it, a cool print on the ground. It's not quite as functional, maybe, but it, it's artistic. I don't have a pair of Jordan 10s. I need a pair of Jordan 10s in here, but the Jordan 10 outsole is even better and it has like a, a lot of words on the bottom most of the time. I don't know that they all do, but I think they do. Um, but I need a 10 in here and we gotta talk about that too once I get it. They don't release 10s anymore. If anybody knows why they don't release 10s, you know, let me know. Um, but I don't think there's a whole lot to say about this shoe. Let's see if there's something to say about the way it's made. It's probably mostly fake leather, so there's not a whole lot of real leather in it. It doesn't smell leathery. Um, I like the, the blue of the sock liner. There's a lot of that blue. Um, but I've just really been looking forward to wearing this with dark pants, blue shirt, white, and blue shoes in this time of year in the summer. And they're joggers. They're not like really heavy pants. And I kind of was uncomfortable about pulling it off, but they're joggers, you know, with elastic around the, the ankle. And the first time I wore them with, I think I wore my Jordan 3 Tinkers up there and the bottom right of the, the plastic cases, I did wear them pulled up a little bit. 
And Hesper said she really liked it. So my wife is complimenting the way that I look. I should probably go with it. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. That's a good plan. Yeah, I agree. So I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to wearing these and wearing them like that. The last time I wore these, she also said nines look really good on you. So again, your wife compliments the way you look. You try to look that way. Especially, and also when it's your wife that bought you the outfits. <laughs> you should probably wear them. And the way that she intended for me to wear them with these. So uh, I also like this shank plate um, because this is like the predecessor to the 13s, the 12s, and the 11s that have the carbon fiber. This is just a big plastic piece, but uh, it just kind of is like I can tip what's to come with the carbon fiber that for me is very nostalgic being in that shoe. So really appreciate these. Glad I got them. Probably going to hang on to them. Probably going to wear them. Again, because when your wife tells you to wear them, something because she likes the way it looks on you, you do it. So y'all let me know what you think about these. Did I ask another question? Tens. Let me know if you want to see a video on a pair of tens. If I just need to go find a pair of tens, get them in here. Because otherwise I've just been waiting on them to drop a pair of tens and there's no tens dropping. None. So also comment down below if you know why no tens are dropping. Because it's like I've got gotta go with a pair of nines because there are no tens. And I don't really like eights that much. So I should go to eleven. Nine don't drop that. I have the elevens. I've got plenty of elevens. So I said you should either have the nines or just skip to eleven. No, I want tens. I know. So <laughs> y'all tell me, do I just need to get some tens? And tell me what which tens I should get, which ones I should go look for, hopefully that aren't ridiculously priced, even though I don't really think there are any like that. So y'all let me know what you think about these, the Jordan 9 UNC University powder, I think they were powder blue. Um, let me know what you think about these, tell your grandma, I don't think grandma would like these very much because they're bulky uh, stompers and highs, high-ish, if not mids, but uh, y'all let me know, smash that like button, comment down below, thanks for watching, I'll see y'all next time. <laughs> You're so pretty. Um, say bye. Tschüss. <laughs>